from Disney film subbrand Six of Seven comes a movie so expensive it had to be the fourth biggest hit of all time to make any money. But when it comes to sequels, never bet against James Mother F***ing Cameron. King of the f***ing world, baby. Avatar The Way of Water. Remember Avatar 1? Kinda right. Something about blue elves having ponytail sex with a flying dog? Well, it's back. And this time, they do it with a fish horse. Join up with full-time datatar Jake Sully, a man who puts the Marine in Aquamarine. You disobeyed direct orders. I want dismissed. And wife Natiri, just kinda crying in the background this time around. <gasps> They'll move the family to Space Florida, a place full of racial tension, even though the water tribe is like one crayon over. But these soggy locals have their own kinds of nature magic that let them heal the sick, commune with animals, and somehow manage to keep their dicks and bloobs from showing at all times. Amakatea. It means double-sided tape. Watch this blue man's troop start their lives over in an obligatory underwater level. And even though some of the kids are getting feels for teals, it turns out that the ocean navi kinda salty. Their arms are thin. Their tails oh. are weak. Still, the Sully clan is here to do two things. Learn about the gentle customs of the sea people and get kidnapped. And they're all out of sea customs. Don't move. Where's Spider? They took him. He had our children. He had them under his knife. Drop it. Don't hurt them. Stop moving. You want your kids back, you come out alone. Let me go. I got your daughters. Same deal as before. You know, for a guy who keeps saying my family is my fortress, maybe Jake should, I don't know, hire a sitter? I can't believe I'm tying up again. With Earth's resources tapped out, James Cameron must invent a whole new culture for white actors to appropriate. With Kate Winslet just how Cameron likes her, wet. And Sigourney Weaver, who's either chilling like an unopened jar of pickled eggs, or playing her teenage self, Kiri, the only one higher than you when you watch this. She's just looking at the sand. <laughs> huh? Tagging along is Spider, a tiny Tarzan who's lucky he was abandoned on Pandora, because back on Earth, he would just be Ross Trent. Together, Spider and Kiri must face their daddy issues. His dad is a homicidal maniac. Her dad is probably an ancient tree goddess. Either way, neither one is paying child support. And don't forget Jake's rebellious son, Loak, an outcast outcast who bonds with the whale equivalent of a fedora kid. He's outcast. And the responsible son, Nateum. Or wait, was Loak the good son? Which one is which again? Dad, just breathe. Nateum. No, Dad, it's Loak. And it doesn't help that they all talk like prank YouTubers from 2013. I got this, bro. 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 Dude. Bro. 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 Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, come on. It's okay, bro. I got you. That was insane, cuz. Bro. <laughs> that was insane, cuz. Bro, I'm good. Go. Oh, sick. Somehow, Quaritch has returned. And like any other Disney character who gets older dies, he's been replaced by a CG version of himself. Now, he's got a strike team of the bluest meanies money can buy, and the ability to instantly find whatever he's looking for on an entire planet. You're his, aren't you? That's hundreds of islands, lots of villages. This is our guy. I'll be damned. Sell his kids. With the help of this whale goo enthusiast and the most immoral marine biologist since George Costanza, he'll search for two full hours of screen time before finally finding what he was looking for. An excuse for James Cameron to pop a sub. And really. Just incredible restraint to wait that long before popping a sub. But after that, dude just can't help himself. Sub teens, two minutes, let's get in there. So if you only see one sci-fi sequel about saving space whales, see this one. But isn't it weird that there's two of them? In an experience that is awe-inspiring in a 3D IMAX theater, looks like a screensaver on your TV at home, and absolute crap here on YouTube, that for all its flaws kept movie theaters in business for just a little bit longer, and kept audiences from having to live in their actual reality for three precious hours. <sighs> You're right, James. You were more right than you ever could have known. Starring. Sully is a family guy. 
I see you less and less these days. In the Navi. Sigourney Tweener. The wrong kid died. Ja, Rastafarianism. Tater Took. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Chief Reef. Kate Inlet. What we do in the shallows. Are you pulling my tail? Oh. <laughs> the tails. Oh, uh, this little baby tail. Don't touch me. <laughs> Talking out the side of their neck. Let's go. Two minutes, people. Let's go. Gunships inbound! Eagle Eye, send your traffic. I got eyes on some guys. Yeah, I hear you. Iron Sky, Blue on Actual. I mean, Devil Dogs, do you read me? Yeah, Loak. Killer ships inbound. Who's with you? Frager. You read? Check your fire. I'm coming out. Sonic flashbacks. <laughs> And <laughs> go fish. Ah, oh, thank goodness this little guy's here to tell the massive planetary crust scooping bulldozer where to go. Right over there. Yep, that way. Hey, you guys. Jane, get me off this crazy thing. Looks like somebody's on the wrong side of the river. I'll do you one better. Why is Epic Voiceover Guy 